Hey guys, Jarek here, and I'm going to be showing you some of the new guns they added into the Killing Floor Christmas update. And there's one of them, so the axe. Now this one is kind of, you have to jump through some hoops to get this. You have to either buy the Dwarves game on uh, Steam, which is $10 and also made by Tripwire to unlock that. Or you have to download the free-to-play game and get 40k gold in that game. Now this doesn't actually take that long, it took me about an hour, including the tutorial time. Um, but it is kind of a minor hindrance, and I really hate how they did that, but... It's really not that much of a pain. Now, I did do that, and I did get the achievement, and I did unlock it. However, I cannot pick it up out of this stone, which is kind of annoying. So I guess they're going to patch that in the future, I'm merely assuming. But I can. Fortunately, I can still buy it in the trader, and I'm going to show you it. And it is a lot of fun. It's definitely, uh, definitely one of the more amusing weapons they added into this game. Now, I can already hear the cry of the forums saying, Oh, this gun is overpowered, you need to get rid of it, you need to nerf it, because for some reason they seem to complain about everything on their forums, which drives me crazy. And then they ruin it for everyone else. They complain about something being overpowered, and then, uh, oh, here it is. This thing is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. But they complain about everything being overpowered, and then they nerf it to the point of it not being usable, say, the M99 especially, which is very, very frustrating and annoying. But yeah, we're not talking about that, we're talking about the uh, axe. This thing seems overpowered, but honestly, it's not overpowered. I'm going to make this look overpowered because I'm only playing this on normal difficulty on solo so everything's pretty easy to kill. But you can see the physical effect this weapon has. When you hit things, I'm going to show you. Boosh! <laughs> they just go flying when you hit them. And it is very, very amusing. And if you don't kill them, you'll send them backward and give you some space. But you cannot stun Scrakes. I gotta get out of here, too many enemies. You can't stun Scrakes, though. With it. It basically seems to be about the same power as the, uh... Get out of here. It seems to be about the same power as the Claymore Sword. It seems to almost be the same thing. Same reach, same, uh, same strength, same length. Oh, hey, I got a hand cannon. So it doesn't seem to be overpowered. Uh, the only real difference is that you can't stun enemies like the Flesh Pound or whatnot with it. Now what I can say does seem to be a little little bit overpowered, and I hate how people are complaining too much about this, is that the uh, the Buzzsaw Bow, and it's, it's not really overpowered. They actually recently nerfed it to the point of it being... Uh, it's still usable. They nerfed it actually the correct way where they didn't make it unusable like the M99. But... They did raise the ammo cost on it. The only thing I could say they kind of need to change a little bit is that they need to make the Buzzsaw Bow weigh a little bit more. Because you can carry either a Scythe or a Claymore or one of these, the Dwarf Axe, and the Buzzsaw Bow at the same time. And to me that seems to be a little bit overpowered, to be honest. And it's not that big of a deal, I'm sure they'll change it a little bit. I just hope they don't nerf it to the point of it being not usable like the M99. <laughs> Get out of here, bitch! And uh, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. They also raised the uh, the price of the Buzz Subbo a little bit. Now it costs 2,000 pounds. I was almost able to autofill, but just missing one one saw blade. So I can carry one of these and the Dwarf Axe, which is a really, really good, strong combination, and possibly too strong. But hey, this is a Horde game. This isn't really a, you know, competitive multiplayer game, so it's no reason to go absolutely batshit crazy and post all over the forums about how unbalanced Killing Floor is and how terrible it is. Shut up and enjoy the game. Quit ruining it for the rest of us. <laughs> this weapon, I gotta say, it really is sweet. Oh, hi, Flesh Bound. <laughs> See, that's what you're able to do with this. You're able to have a ranged attack and hit them when they get up close. Which, by the way, like I said, I'm going to make it seem stronger than it actually is, because I'm only playing this on normal difficulty with one person, and this game does scale up, scale up for the more people that join.
<laughs> Damn it, I forgot they float. Get off my head, reindeer! Now, like I said, when there's more people joining, you won't be able to kill these enemies in such short amount of hits. It'll take a good six swings or so to kill a Scrake. And um, it definitely becomes harder, and it's not quite as power overpowered or strong as I'm showing you. Alright, I'm gonna get over to the trader and uh, see how good this thing fares against the Patriarch. Hmm, out of curiosity, I'm gonna see something. Okay, you can still pick up your saw blades. I thought they might have nerfed that out. And I'm ready for the Patriarch. Now, like I said, the uh, the community really likes to complain about Killing Floor, and I'm sure after playing this a little bit, they'll make a, a few adjustments to Killing Floor with the new weapons. They usually do. They normally patch things almost correctly. But every once in a while, the community complains so much that they just patch it to the point of it not being usable. The M99 is a great example. The gun is weaker, and now it costs 500 pounds to, for one bullet. It's just way too expensive to use it. And people usually combat that by saying, well, then you should move around and stop camping. This isn't Call of Duty Zombies. This isn't something where you can... Oh, rocket! Ow, how did that hit me? But this isn't Call of Duty Zombies. This isn't something that you can uh, run around and strafe enemies like crazy. You can weld a door and try to hold off that one spot, and that's the best way to do it. So, that logic doesn't really work. We. Oh shit. Get back here. What the fuck what is he doing? I think he has pathfinding issues here. Try not to use the buzzsaw bow too much. That's his syringe. Where'd he go? He's up here somewhere. <laughs> that just made him explode. 
So there you go, there's been the uh, the axe. It's a pretty cool new berserk weapon, pretty unique. Uh, it works with the berserker class just like it should. You can use this on other maps. It is not specific to this map. So um, I look forward to hearing about all of the complaints on the forum saying it's overpowered, and uh, hopefully Tripwire won't nerf the hell out of it.